Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And today I'm taking a look at something really super exciting. This is the new HP Dev1 laptop, which is a developer focused laptop that they've designed in conjunction with System76. And this actually runs um, System76's Ubuntu based Linux distribution called Pop! OS. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. So this is what the laptop comes in. It's a pretty heavy, hefty box, but it's small, all white around, HP Dev 1. So it looks like the real magic will be when we open it. There's a piece of paper here, and it says, Dear Brian, thank you for taking the time to check out our Dev 1 notebook. Hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Looking forward to hearing what you think about it. Best, HP Dev 1 and System76. Very cool. So I am getting the opportunity to check this out. Uh, this was supplied to me by HP and System76. So we'll take the laptop right out of the box. But let's see what else is in this box. So there's a little piece of paper here to lift up. And we have a power cable. There must be a power brick in here somewhere. There's the power brick. And something is in here. So the power brick, this actually charges with a barrel style charger, but I believe you can charge the laptop uh, via USB-C as well. So if you were to connect a USB-C charger or connect this to a USB-C docking station or monitor that has USB power delivery, uh, it should charge the laptop as well. But the charger that it comes with is a barrel style with this like Mickey Mouse style, which the plug will plug into. Also in the box. see what we have here. HP Dev 1. So we have some information. Uh, super, sim super simple setup. Plug it in, turn it on, and connect to a network. Uh, cool stuff. So there's an ambient light sensor, uh, camera LED, internal mic, camera, uh, security cable slot, which is like a Kensington slot. Um, USB ports. There's two of them. USB Type-C, I believe. So there's two USB Type-C and two USB Type-A. So there's there's both of those there. These are not Thunderbolt ports because this is an, H, uh, an AMD laptop and typically you're not gonna see Thunderbolt on an AMD machine. We also have full HDMI and 3.5 millimeter audio. Very cool. Okay, what else do we have here? We have a little booklet for uh, warranty. It says HP Worldwide Limited Warranty. This machine is only being sold in the United States, however. And what else? Three year limited bat battery warranty. So uh, the limited warranty for the battery included is three years. Okay, cool. Nothing too exciting in the box other than the laptop itself and the charger. So now that this box seems to be empty, we can go ahead and just uh, put it on the floor, put it to the side and check out the actual laptop, the exciting thing. So this is an AMD uh, Ryzen powered laptop. Um, this There's one configuration available from AMD, uh, which has 16 gigs of RAM, but it is user, user upgradable up to 64 gigs. So you can go up to 64, but when you buy it, it's gonna ship with, um, with 16. And some people have complained about that. They've said, oh, shouldn't a developer machine um, come with at least 32? Should it, um, you know, have different options available? I kind of like the fact that HP is just selling one configuration. So there's one price, one configuration. You go on their website, you order this laptop. Everybody is going to buy the same laptop. You're going to get one configuration. So again, we have here USB type A, 3.5 millimeter audio, and the Kensington lock slot. On the front, there's nothing. And then we have two USB Type-C ports. Um, again, these are just USB Type-C. They are not Thunderbolt, which should be fine. Uh, we have HDMI, full-size HDMI. Oh, and this is not the 3.5 millimeter. Oh, this is the um, barrel power plug for charging. On the bottom, we can see it's pretty much blank. There's no obnoxious stickers. We have the, the fan um, uh, grate here, so you can get uh, exhaust or pull in air possibly, depending on the design here. And let's go ahead and take a look, adjust the camera here, and we'll open up the laptop. So we have this piece of paper here just to protect it in shipping, I guess. 
so the keyboard doesn't like press against the screen. Uh, this is like a chiclet style keyboard. Nice size keys. I like the font on the keys. Uh, one of the cool things about this, see if I can just do a little zoom here. Uh, one of the cool things about this is there's no Windows key, so it's a super key. So it actually says super, you don't have the Windows button. So when you buy a Windows laptop, you can of course install a Linux distribution on it, but you're gonna have that Windows key. And it kind of takes away from the experience. So by having a super key here, um, you don't have to see the Windows logo when you're using Linux. And if you do decide to install Windows on this machine, which it can run Windows, the super key would function as a Windows key. All right, let me go back to the regular. Trackpad is nice and clicky. You also have these left and right buttons, which is designed for this, um, I don't even know what you call these things, the nub. I don't, I'm not a fan of these. I know they tend to put these on developer machines because people um, that are writing code, they don't take their fingers off the row of keys and then they can kind of, I've heard lots of explanations of why a developer machine or a business machine needs this nub. I don't use it, I don't like it. I, I just, I, I find it to be too inaccurate, uh, but it's nice that it's here, but you have these left and right click buttons that are designed for the nub. On the side here, it looks like there's speaker grills. We'll have to test this and see how the speakers sound. Um, but what I also like here is um, it's just a straight up keyboard. There's no number pad on the side. Obviously, um, you're not gonna fit the number pad here, um, but I hate when a keyboard is kind of off to the left and there's a number pad. This is nice. This is a very nice, well laid out laptop. Um, the click, it is a physical click. So unlike Apple's laptops, which have a like a faux click where it, you, it feels like you're clicking when you're actually not, this is an actual click. So down here, it's a nice click. As you get higher up, it's harder to click. When you get to the top, you really can't click at all. So, you know, you kind of have to get used to that. Uh, if you're coming from an Apple laptop, um, you're gonna have to learn that it clicks better towards the bottom. I wish other manufacturers would kind of take, uh, follow Apple with the trackpad design. That's one of the best things about Apple. Um, I wouldn't buy one of their laptops just because I find them to be um, very um, fragile and just not a great experience, but the trackpads are, are great. But the keyboard here seems really wonderful. Uh, the screen, see if there's any juice in this bad boy and we'll go ahead and power it up. Uh, okay, so there we go. Backlit keyboard. There's me wearing a Met shirt. And let's see. I think it may need just need to be charged uh, from the factory because when I'm powering it on, the keyboard comes lit up just for a moment. Is it going to stay lit? Let's see. Let me get everything on the screen. There's me. I've got a lit keyboard. It may just need to charge, uh, but I don't have anything on the screen just yet. Interesting. <laughs> Not what I wanted as a first experience here. I think I do have a USB Type-C cable that I can try to plug in to just give it some juice. It may just need some power from, like I said, from the factory. Uh, let's just give that a go here. It's kind of hard to get that in the shop, but I have a USB Type-C cable connected to a monitor over here. Let's give this another go. I'm just gonna try power again. Power once, keyboard lights up, and looks like the screen might be lighting up. There we go. No idea why it didn't start up the last time. So we see the HP logo. It may have just been the first time boot takes a few moments and I was just not being patient enough. And there we go. So it's booting right into Pop! OS. Ooh, mouse feels nice. And it's gonna want us to go down through the setup process, but the screen looks wonderful. I like the backlighting. I like the keyboard, um, just, just, you know, from first view. And I believe, let's see, up here, there is the webcam. Okay, we have a webcam at the top. Okay. Close 
close that down. And I'm going to be testing this out uh, with two different products as well. So I have a USB type C monitor, a 4K monitor that I'm gonna be plugging this into um, with System76's launch keyboard, which is an upgradable uh, keyboard that is made uh, in the United States by System76, as well as this HP mouse. Uh, the, uh, this is the 935 Creator wireless mouse. This is a mouse by HP, but System76 has actually been doing some work with it. Um, and uh, you can actually uh, optimize, uh, not optimize, uh, customize different button settings and things from within Linux, from within, from, from within Pop! OS, um, with a special app that's designed for this, this mouse. Um, and the System76 developers were actually excited about this mouse, saying there's some things that they think they can do with it in the future. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens, but um, this particular mouse and this particular keyboard are being sold by HP on the Dev1 website that you can order in conjunction with this laptop. So you don't need this keyboard and mouse, but if you're gonna use um, like as a desktop uh, setup with a monitor and you wanted a keyboard and mouse, these are definitely two to consider and you can buy them at the time that you buy the HP uh, Dev1 laptop. So that's the unboxing folks. I wish I had more information to show. It, it is a very beautiful laptop. See the HP logo there, which I believe HP changed their logo. I don't know if they changed it back because um, you see here this HP mouse has that style. And then um, this has the, I think the older style HP logo on the top. So I don't know if HP has switched back to this, if they're in the process of changing, if they're using both logos. But you see here the, the fancier, newer style HP logo, the older style here on the top of the laptop. But just a really nice, no nonsense laptop. Again, powered by a Ryzen processor. You're going to get 16 gigs of RAM, uh, DDR4, uh, has Wi-Fi, I believe Wi-Fi, I think Wi-Fi 6, but not Wi-Fi 6E, um, but you should be able to, you know, you can upgrade the RAM and the storage. You should be able to access the wireless card as well and upgrade that. I don't know that 100%, but I believe that's the case. And if you did want to go all AMD, I think AMD is selling its own Wi-Fi 6E card now that I don't know that, it, I think it may have developed with another company, um, but um, that may work with Linux as well. So if you did want to upgrade the card. So if you have any questions about the laptop, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day.